it's a package kind of day basically if you do conventions basically <laughs> get to one you get the funds back and then you start to invest on the next one so that's basically <laughs> what i did this week because i had one in porto in portugal last week okay, we have socks in here and i got some packaging supplies i've always used like craft bags for conventions but i noticed that since i started to do international ones i have to take check-in bags and those check-in bags have like a weight limit um, and also space <laughs> limit um, so basically i um, could only take maybe 15 bags so as much as i hate it i had to order um, plastic bags and then i ordered the normal craft paper bags that i usually use it's from a different company than i normally use but wanted to see the difference because i have been trying to print on these for a while so maybe this one's will be easier let me show you these are the ones that i use right now and this is a tryout print that i did this week and it looks great but the printer kept kept jamming but they were a lot cheaper it was like 1000 for the same price that i get maybe 200 or 300 of these ones so yeah to be honest this is the part that annoys me the most because i have to take a lot of bags and this weight so much and they will take like weight of the bags that i could take in products but i still have to bring them it's so annoying <laughs> but anyway i'm going to be doing mcm in london and um i've been trying to find a way to um, accept payment cards in the uk i normally use sum up but it wasn't working because i can only have an account in euros i got this option here um, this is not sponsored by the way it's going to be one for euros and another for uh, pounds it, this is like a north older model of the um, simpler machine the newer one it's like a more updated design and it's a lot prettier but this one was a lot cheaper then i hopefully can accept payments in pounds when i do mcm in london i'm going to leave a link for this in the description but yeah just keep in mind that i still haven't tried it out It looks like nighttime and it's like 1 p.m. 
that it's raining a lot, so it's super dark in here. But yeah, not complaining because it looks super cozy. Hi, welcome back to another video. As you can tell probably by the title, it's going to be a convention vlog because I'm going to do London MCM, which I'm really, really excited. Um, I've been doing lots of t-shirts, I've been doing some charms for earrings and now I'm going to start with mystery bags because it's something that sells really well at convention especially when people look at my booth and feel a little bit overwhelmed they tend to grab a mystery bag so um, I'm going to prepare some of them but only notebooks, prints and stuff and all the other products like enamel pins and washi tapes and socks um, that I put in the mystery bags I'm going to add them there uh, because it takes a lot less space that way and they don't get ruined um, because these were like packed in the bags and stuff um, and they tend to get a bit ugly um, so yeah I also did some bags for them not sure if I showed you or not so that way people can choose um, what is inside the bag um, so yeah really excited about those but on a previous video I also got a question or a request to do like a market and convention tips um, and like my uh, go-to um, things to use um, and things that I can't live off when doing markets so I thought I could share some tips on this vlog um, and some things that I've been changing over time and improving and now let's prepare some mystery bags I'm actually um, watching a documentary because I don't know it's cozy I just want to uh, watch something I probably watch some Harry Potter during the afternoon while I just sit down and do like some tasks like that which I really enjoy especially when days are like this so yeah <laughs> next morning I went to grab my high visibility I think that's the name like high vis um, vest because for MCM you have to wear one and I still have to do some socks finish some sweaters I went to also pick up DTF I ordered a lot more because I keep going to the um, the printing shop and coming back so I got like seven meters or something made, um, which is not a lot, but it will last me a bit because I have a lot of t-shirts already made. So yeah, let's finish everything and let's pack. 
this is how the earrings are doing i have still a bunch of them i'm going to take some pliers if i need to use something i always take one box like this just in case so i still have to mount all of these i had like so much bad luck i guess this week because of shrink plastic um so yeah i ran out and i ordered like already almost two weeks now some shrink plastic it took a while it took like three days even with amazon prime or something i used the vasen creative one and i've been using it for like years and i ordered i always ordered the white one um and they sent me the transparent one and i had one order for earrings that i didn't have charms in stock so i had to make them and i also needed to make more earrings for mcm like i sold out my ghosty earrings which is almost halloween so it will be the perfect time to sell them and i still had to restock a couple um so yeah i was really in a rush and i had to send that back and they sent me again and i got this one and immediately i was like mm, this is not what i usually ordered but i was like maybe they changed the packaging because it said inkjet um in there so yeah i thought it was fine uh but yeah it wasn't fine basically the ink didn't adhere to the um, the paper even um so it wasn't inkjet inkjet um so yeah, I wasn't able to fulfill that order. I had to issue a refund because I have no idea when they are going to send me stuff again and I'm leaving for London tomorrow. So I didn't have time to do that and I could only use the charms that I already have in there um, and I couldn't make. Lately, I always already had printed a couple a few weeks ago that I didn't have time like to cut and finish. So I used those ones, but yeah, I'm going to have like one ghosty earrings um, which sucks, but yeah, anyway, this is on, let's do some socks and some t-shirts and some sweats as well. These are done, socks are done. So now let's finish some earrings. 
this is the kind of thing that I'm usually like on the night before doing like 2 a.m. So I'm kind of proud of me because I feel like I'm starting to finally organize myself a lot better after doing more cons this year. Um, so yeah, the goal is to be working at home with the cat during the afternoon um, because I ran out of battery. Um, what I was saying, what I was saying, um, what? What was I saying? Oh, um, my sister lives in London um, and I have a little niece, so I'm going to be staying there for a week. So I just wanted to be at home during the afternoon with the cats. Um, so, so yeah, still working, but I want to be working from home to be oh, to be with him. This is one of the most important things if you do international cons <laughs> is to weigh your bags. I already had to buy extra three kilos for each bag. Um, so now I'm just going to see, because I already started to pack yesterday. So I'm just going to see if like, and this is the thing that takes me the longest. It's basically divide the weight between the bags. Twenty-three, so I can still put three kilos in here. This is a new bag because the wheels of the other one basically broke. This bag right now, it's like on this plasticky material, but um, you never know. I always put everything in boxes and plastic as well. them in bags it also makes it easier to divide by sizes normally when i arrive at the convention i do the dividing of sizes between the two sides of the bag but it still makes it a lot easier i'm normally doing uh, conventions alone because you know i would love to have company and my boyfriend or a friend to come with me but if i go alone it cuts on expenses so basically i have to think that i have to take these two bags alone and a backpack with my stuff um last time i added a checking bag with me like a shoulder bag and then when i came back it was like i sold almost all the t-shirts that I took so I was able to bring it back uh, with me without an extra so I only got the two check-in bags but it was a lot to go with a backpack a shoulder bag and two big bags so this time I chose and it was kind of like the same price because I'm going to with EasyJet if you go with Ryanair sometimes check-in bags are cheaper than to add extra weight but anyway, um, I decided to add extra weights on these bags, so it's one less bag to take. Um, bags are also 
a lot easier to take than to like wear bags or boxes and stuff like that i started to wear uh, use bags very early on because it was so much easier and then you put everything on the bag and if it's well packed uh it will stay like that until you unpack it again um so yeah it makes it easier to travel around especially if you do international or out of town cons um it makes your sock a lot more organized and you know things don't move so yeah now i have to close it and weigh it again hopefully it will close 26 yeah it's 27 oh jesus i have to take some things out i'm just going to open the two bags and then change around things okay i waited again and it says it weighs less than 26 so i'm just going to take it like this i'm going to take the the thing that weighs the bags home uh, so that my boyfriend can weigh them as well because it's really hard to get them out but yeah i can take them out okay uh they are heavy but hopefully we'll be fine this one is really full and i'm coming back with reiner here and i only have a 20 kilo bag for each and right now they weigh 26 so that means i'll have to sell at least 12 kilos so i don't have to pay extra to come back so Hopefully you'll be fine. These are the things that I'm taking on my backpack. So earrings, business cards, which are really um, heavy, um, and my ATM machines, and also these things that weigh almost one kilo, and also the keychain that weigh almost one kilo as well. So I'm just going to try to put them in my backpack somewhere. Once I unpack them tomorrow, uh, when I'm setting up, I'll show you how I organized everything so for this one it's just clothing inside bags this one I organize um, it's all the exhibition things that I need are here um, but I'll show you tomorrow and let's ignore my fuzzy socks because it has been cold so they are there a few things that I always try to not forget are my ATM machines which I really needed um, and I know in UK people pay a lot more with card than here in Portugal Another thing is change um, and you sometimes need a lot of it. Tomorrow when I arrive in the UK, I'm going to have to take care of that. Um, normally what I do, I think you can grab change from the bank. Normally what I do is I withdraw money and I do like all the payments that I do, I do with a, like 20 notes or something like that. And then I'll just say the change. <laughs> every time i buy something i don't know i'm lazy i guess uh, another thing are business cards bags which are really important and a tape uh scissors and something to grab products or something that you might need um it might be like those little clips or something um something to grab things but tape it's always your best friend and scissors you'll always need to cut something uh, or something appears so these are like the basic items that i always try to not forget um oh yeah i think i already packed them all so we'll see hopefully i'm not forgetting anything i always have the feeling that i'm forgetting something but hopefully i'm not forgetting anything but yeah bags are packed I'm going to go home be with the cats and work from there for a bit and then rest because it's going to be a busy weekend and tomorrow it's going to be a big day so yeah see you soon they were overweight after all this one has 29 kilos and this one is 26 let's go Okay, let's begin to set up. I had lunch on the way here and I bring some things on this backpack so I have to take them out.
I told you I was going to show you how I have the bag divided and I totally forgot. Um, so on this side, I usually bring all the mounting stuff. So basically all of these things, the grids, all the wood pieces that I have. Um, and I know that this space, I only have to reserve for that. I also um, was able to put prints and some stickers in here. And then on this side, I basically bring all my stuff that it is in t-shirts. So this bag is for t-shirts and caps. And this is basically for everything else. Um, I also have my hooks in here, I have like socks everywhere, I was trying to put it in a way that would take less space and less weight. Um, I only have the pins in the mystery boxes on this box here, so it will be like all like protected and stuff. Everything else I was able to put on the bag here, because the bag, once I finish and I close this one, will be... Um, like super full so it'll protect everything else that I have in here. This is the mess on the back, by the way. I have some stock in here, I have other stock in here below, and then I have all the t-shirts there. I'm hiding because, yeah. <laughs> but hopefully you can hear me, not sure if it's too noisy in here. But yeah, I'm excited, it's doing well, and it's still very quiet, so promising. <laughs> managed to hang some t-shirts and my banner as well, so it looks a bit better and now you can see the sweatshirts because I couldn't find a space to put them here so Shirts and this is the, how the teachers are doing so yeah and I only have these tote bags left <laughs> Last 
day three. This is how the booth is looking. I did some phone charms. I'm almost almost running out of socks and some t-shirt sizes and I no longer have sweatshirts so good sign. This is how the bag is looking. <laughs> really hefty and I have my snacks over there. I also only have these caps. These have been the best sellers. Not the berry ones because I only have these ones left. But yeah. Okay, I'm packing. This is the end. I still have to take all of these but the fact that almost all my stock fits in half a bag it's very telling of how it went Bye MCM! Hopefully see you in May I'm unpacking now and this is the aftermath. I have these products to um, put in the shelves and all of that, which is not a lot. I'm quite happy with the amount of stock I bring back. It's usually not that low, so yeah, really happy with that. Um, I have these t-shirts left that I'm going to put on the shelf there. I'm going to have a con in like one and a half weeks um, in the Netherlands and I really have to pack but it really helps for me to put all the t-shirts that I have done in there so that I can then see how much stock I need to do and all that and for the first time I'm going to put the grids in some of the, um, the heavier items These are the things that take most space and also the things that weigh the most so I'm actually sending them out to a friend in the Netherlands and I'm going to try that out to see how that goes and how much it weights and how much it's going to cost and then see how much more products I can take on the suitcase when I don't take these things so yeah I'm going to do that I keep meaning to, you know, do the products and send them out to the hotel or a friend or family or something like that but I do everything myself basically so when especially when I have like markets and cons every two weeks it's just basically coming back from a con and just do stock on those two weeks so I don't really have the time 
to do everything on time so that I can then send it over. Um, so I think sending the like exhibition things, it's a good one because yeah, they are just ready. I can just pack them and send them and it's the things that I weigh the most. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to weigh them, put them in a box um, and see how much it's going to cost me and try that out. So I'll let you know on the next video. I'm going to end this one here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed coming with me to London. Uh, let me know any more questions you like to do, know about markets and all of that um, and I'll try my best to answer them in future videos when I'm going to do cons and all, all the kind of things. Um, so yeah, really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Bye!